Hey YouTube, this is Valerie. I'm coming to you today to show you how to do this little um, fence. Sorry, let me move my camera a little bit. All right, okay. So this little fence here, that you can use for embellishments. Um, actually, this one is a little large, but I'm gonna show you a smaller scale, which is like half the scale of that. Okay, and pretty much these are uh, similar to the fences that you can buy at like Hobby Lobby um, in the miniature section and use on your cards or your embellishments. Um, I noticed that they are really popular um, with some people. So I figured I'd do a tutorial on how to do this. Um, if you don't have the money to go to Hobby Lobby, the time, and if you have the things on hand. So really simple. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna get some of these skinny sticks, okay? They're crap sticks, they're 75 uh, in a pack. They were really cheap, I don't remember how much. So, and uh, you can tell a, a bit goes, a pack goes like a long way. So you, if you buy one or have them on hand, I'm sure you probably still have them. <laughs> Cause um, yeah, anyways. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this in half, okay? And you can measure it if you want, you don't have to. Okay, so you're gonna cut it in half, and then we're gonna cut it in half again, okay? So you'll come out with a little piece like that, and I have some that are pre-cut, so you can see they're about the same size, okay? So you take that, and like I said, you cut it in half. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna cut at an angle the little tips that you just cut off, okay? So I'm gonna cut the little tips that you just cut off at an angle, like so. And a little, like an arrow. So you're gonna get something like that looks like this. Okay, I'm trying to see if my camera will focus on it. Let's see, maybe not. He's trying. There we go, okay? So that's what you're gonna get, like a little arrow type thing at the end, okay? So you do all of your um, pieces like that. And I'm gonna go ahead, I have probably about let me see I think I'm gonna do maybe about six I'll do five I'll do five five of them for my um, my fence okay so what I'm using and you can use whatever kind of wire that you have I'm using this zebra wire and it's 24 gauge it's a brass wire um, this is what I have. You can use floral wire, which would be nice as well. Um, try to make sure it's, it's, it's a pretty thin gauge wire. When I used this one, um, it was, I think this is a, like a 20 gauge, I believe. These are like scrap wire that I, I have and, and, you know, I need a purpose for them. So that's why I'm using them. Um, but I think this was like a 20 gauge wire and it was, it was, it started to get a little difficult. So, um, yeah, that would be a good, uh, solution if you have like scrap wire, but I would go with a lower gauge wire so that you don't run into a difficulty. Uh, it, it started because, like I said, it started getting difficult and then I had to use my pliers to straighten them. Out really good so which I recommend anyways so okay so you can get a good twist so for that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna guess here cuz I don't know exactly how long it will require but it can't be that long so I'm gonna double up we'll say about this much let's see uh, we're gonna go to like about four inches here. I don't think I'm gonna use that much, but we're gonna use four inches just to be safe. And then we're gonna double that. So we'll say eight inches, okay? Okay. Eight 
Okay, and then I just use my, sorry, I keep going off. I just use my wire cutters to cut that off. Let me turn my camera just a little smidgen, so I'm not always going off camera, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna need two pieces of this. Okay, so again, I'm gonna cut another piece same length just to make sure that I have enough um, all right and then I'm gonna fold it in half just so I know where the end or the the the, the half is okay so let me see if I I don't know if I can zoom in all right let me zoom in just a little bit and turn my camera sorry I don't want to make you guys dizzy get out just a little bit all right okay so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the first one in about you can put it wherever you want and you don't even have to double the 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 well yeah I think you do it it makes it more sturdy if you you double the wire but I don't think you have to so I'm gonna use my pliers anyways, just because it makes a nice tight um, twist. So you're gonna put that around here and you're gonna crisscross it, right? So that they're both looking like this. Okay. gonna crisscross it crisscross your wires and then you're gonna proceed to start twisting okay well I'm gonna use my hand for right now one two three okay, I gave it three twists and then I'm gonna just go back and just retighten it with my my pliers okay so then I'm gonna fit in the next one Okay, same thing. Gonna cross it. I'm gonna twist it twice with that, and then I'm gonna actually use the the pliers for the other. If you're using these kind of pliers, make sure you don't cut it, because <laughs> as a cutter on there, I've done that so many times in the past. So I'm just letting you know. Okay, again, we're gonna go, I'm gonna twist it, twist it, and then I'm gonna come in and just tighten it with, with this pliers, at least once, cause then it gives it a really good tightening. All right, I'm gonna twist it again. That one looks a little long. And this one looks a little short. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. And you see, it's a good thing they're not tightened all the way in. So I have the option of actually changing my my little um, thing in case I go off as far as, as um, make a mistake as far as cutting. Okay, so again, we're going to tighten this. Tighten it. Tighten it. And then we're going to twist with pliers and then we're gonna do one more I'm getting one that's comparable in height okay you can always trim them down too okay so we're gonna I'm gonna use that one okay we're gonna go ahead and do the same tighten tighten that one's a little tricky on the end okay all right. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna just cut off the end right close to, I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna cut off, oh. wait, did I just break my wire? I just broke my wire. Okay, so we'll have a four post fence. Don't tighten too much because you'll do like me and break the wire. So let me go. I'm going to cut right here. Close to. 
the fence, but not too close. I want a little bit of a little edge left. Okay, tighten that a little bit more. All right, so I have that, right? So now what I'm gonna do is just repeat the same process on the bottom half. For some people, it may be easier to do this at the same time while you're doing um, the first one. It's kind of like up to you. I can't remember how I did it the first time. I want to say that I did do it that way, but I don't remember because it was a little while ago. Okay, so again, I'm going to go. I'm going to add this guy here. To that and we're gonna tighten all right now we're gonna do it again and we're gonna tighten and you can um how you call that you can straighten and fix your your fence um, as you go along too while you're doing this you know level it make it even uh, with the other pieces etc and if your binds are not too tight you can do it afterward so right down to the end here okay all right I'm gonna cut right now just tighten it just a little smidge and I don't want to break my wire and I'm going to cut really close not too close but really close now first thing is you're going to have this little edge here with your wire I don't like that edge so you can do one of two things you can either bend it in so that it's out of the way like bend it against the post or you can throw a little dab of hot glue there and that's what I do is I just throw a little dab of hot glue on the end just so that it's not a hazard <laughs> for somebody and uh, oops yeah, it's a little bit too too much but just make a little bead on the end so that if it passes by somebody's um you know hand or whatever that it doesn't it doesn't um you know um how you call it catch on them and, and scrape them and my camera's not focusing let me see if it'll do it now so focus no, maybe she is, she's being stubborn today. Anyways, so this is it. Okay. So then what you do, I'm going to just do it real quickly, is, sorry, I'm trying to get my glue gun out of the way here. <clears throat> just put it down. And get yourself some white glue. I'm gonna just put a little dab of glue right here. Okay. And then you just paint your fence white. Okay. Or whatever color you wanna paint it. Okay. So, I mean, it's really easy. Um, doesn't take a lot of time of uh, materials are cheap you know um, especially if you have them already on hand and we collect so many things as crafters that um, I wouldn't be surprised that you know you guys do so and then you flip it and paint the other side white and you can get, you know, creative and get down in the, 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 the corners here if you want. You could do two coats of that or some chalk paint would be nice because then it really come on thick and, and kind of have that kind of 
non-glossy um, <clears throat> matte feel to it, uh, which would really be reminiscent of a fence. Okay. And that's it. And then you let it dry. And like I said, you can use that for your embellishments. You can use it for <clears throat> anything that you want, really. Um, your cards, um, you know, artwork, you know, if you're making like a little scene that you have, you know, you need like a little fence, you know. It's really up to you, up to your imagination. But um, once again, I'm always trying to uh, show you guys things that you can do yourself and you don't have to go and buy everything and um, You know, it's hard economic times out there <laughs> So, you know, we got to do with what we have. Uh, my mom always used to tell me, you know um, Do without or do you know, <laughs> so I, I kind of live by that motto do without you know if, if you don't have it do without it get find something else that you can use instead of what you think that you're gonna go out there and buy okay so make up something you know get inventive use your imagination um, and 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 you'll figure something out they say um, necessity is the mother of invention so we always got to believe that and and try and do things for ourselves and be a little more sustainable um, anyways enough of me rambling <laughs> You guys have a great day and I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe and comment to my channel. Thanks. Bye.